what does winning mean? Unfortunately, we don't have Edward here to explain himself, but uh, uh, we, we saw th the latest round of, uh, of an effort to use force to try to uh, impose a solution. Israelis went into Gaza. Uh, but they weren't prepared to do what Edward would have them do, that is to say, to go in, to clean out Hamas, to topple the Hamas regime there. Uh, and uh, part of the reason, I think the major reason for them not doing that was be the end result would be they would be back in control of Gaza, uh, which was precisely the reason they left five years earlier, because they didn't want to be in control anymore. They didn't see any purpose. The idea that they could somehow impose Abu Mazen's rule on the back of an Israeli tank they dismissed as fanciful. There's no way that the Palestinians would have accepted that kind of imposed solution. I could imagine a way in which it would have been done, in which the Israelis came in and, and, and basically took control and then decided to exit in favor of a UN-mandated international force that would take control of Gaza look to the needs of the Palestinian people, eventually hold an election, and then a legitimate leadership uh, could emerge from that process. Uh, but the Israelis don't trust the UN, don't believe that they would do the job properly, and they're not, they were not prepared to pay the price in terms of the international condemnation that would come from uh, all the uh, Palestinian casualties involved in, a, in that kind of operation, street-to-street uh, -street fighting in the refugee camps and so on, and they weren't prepared to pay the price in terms of Israeli casualties that would be inflicted as a result of that. So it's fine to make the theoretical argument that you know, one side should win and impose a solution, but in fact, um, the Israelis have had superior force, massively superior force, uh, for uh, uh, almost all of this conflict since 1948. And they have not been able to win militarily against the Palestinians. Because at the end of the day, what are you going to do with the people? And so there is only a political solution. And the, the only rational solution is a two-state solution. A Palestinian state living alongside Israel, which was what the United Nations first suggested back in 1947. And so somehow we have to find a way to reinfuse hope in that situation, that military force can, can you know, make a difference in terms of shaking up the situation, but it cannot succeed in, in uh, winning because winning doesn't solve the problem of what do you do with the people.